here to call for separate walking and biking lanes on the Queensboro Bridge by turning the South Adder Roadway into a South Adder Walkway for people. We're right here at the top of the Central Business District at the 59th Street Bridge. Congestion pricing is coming in the next year. And we're gonna be asking people not to take cars into the Central Business District, which means we need to be ready for an influx of people walking over the Queensboro Bridge and biking. You've got bicyclists going in both directions, walkers going in both directions, joggers going in both directions. Now it's a great thing. There's thousands and thousands of people commuting every day over this bridge. But the fact that they are forced to fight for space is dangerous. This bridge has 10 lanes between the upper and lower roadway. Nine of them are dedicated to cars. Just one is dedicated to cyclists and pedestrians together. It doesn't seem like a fair uh, distribution of space, and it's definitely not safe. You're at some of the downhills. Uh, it gets too fast, and you have not enough space for the amount of citizens who want to use the lane. Every day I see more and more tourists just walking, taking their families, enjoying the views, and sometimes they walk on the wrong side because the DOT has not updated the decals, and it's very dangerous. You know, think about the Williamsburg Bridge. It has a separate walking path. The Manhattan Bridge has a separate walking path. You know, the two bridges where people are uncomfortable are the Brooklyn Bridge and the Queensboro Bridge. There's a literal walkway that's been built it's beautiful, it just needs to be restored to its original purpose. We collected 450 signatures in like one day. The total number is around 2,500 these days, maybe more. I think that the South Outer Roadway has skyline views that could rival the Brooklyn Bridge and everybody, business on each end of the bridge would, I think, benefit. We need a new pedestrian and bike walkway on the south side today. Not tomorrow, not in two years, not after congestion pricing, we need it before it. We just need to summon the political will to do it. It's that easy, uh, it's also that difficult because as we've seen, breaking car culture is incredibly difficult.